Right guys, today we're going to be vlogging the Festival Italia at Brands Hatch. We've just arrived. There's a lot of people here already. This is the AOC, the Abar Fainers Club. We've got the Puntos down the far end there. We've got a couple Puntos here as well. And we've got a few on another stand all the way down the back. There's some more showing up now. So we're going to try and get all the Puntos down together at the end. So I'll let you know how that goes. If you want to see how the rest of the day goes, stay tuned and I'll see you very shortly. We've wangled it, here comes the Puntos. There's Steve. So everyone's here now, we've moved the Puntos up to the end. There's still a few down the other end, couldn't actually fit them all on. And from there being on different stands and stuff, couldn't do anything about that. Obviously there's Matt Bartley's Punto there. We're just gonna have a walk around, have a look at some of the cars. And then obviously at the end of the day, I think it's about six o'clock, we're gonna be all doing a parade lap together. So I'm gonna go have a walk around, put the cameras on charge, have some lunch, and then we'll be doing the parade lap. So I'm gonna vlog that as well. That one's nice, I like this black pink one. This is one of my favourite old old school cars now, the Lancia Delta Integrale. It's an old classic. It's in really good condition. This is an even better example of the Lancia Delta Integrale. It's got the bigger body kit on it. And then next to it is the Stratus. I'm not sure if this is actual official one or if it's a kit car. It looks pretty good even if it is a copy. Both these cars, about 20 years ago, were like the pinnacles of the rally cars. They changed the whole scene of it and they were absolutely brilliant. Obviously the Stratus was so light and it had four wheel drive and it was just chuckerboard in all the corners and they weighed something stupid like 800 um, kilos. You just see how small and light it is. So down here next to the track in the gravel you've got the bigger Ferrari owners club. So many different varieties of the models. You've got the older ones, some of the newer ones. It's a really good selection down there. Probably one of the biggest stands in the actual whole show to be fair. You've got a nice view of the track down there. Some of the older ones down there near the front. Interesting uh, way to go though, really remember that the report that we got is that the Sally was as high as second in the second race at Stetson earlier this year. 
So down here towards the entrance, you've got the AROC, the Alfa Romeo Angus Club. You've got just quite a lot of selection of all the different models down here. So you've got all the Mitos, all the old ones. I do a little shout out for the Abarth South East Club. They've got quite a lot of different models of the Abarths here. Obviously got the Rivale there. Got the one with the Golf liveries, that looks really good. And they've got the Yamaha edition as well, this blue and yellow one, that really is really nice. So obviously this is the Alpha 4C. These things are so light and they're so quick. Perfect for track. If you watch uh, Steph AB TV's channel, he had one of these for a while and he said so many good things about it. It's just such a beautiful car as well. The main thing about it is it's just so light. It's got a carbon fiber bucket. So obviously if you have a ding in it, it's, you know, thousands of pounds to replace it. It's such a nice car. This is a really old classic, it's an old Alfa Romeo Junior Z. So small. When cars were just basic, just for driving. Beautiful. This is getting a lot of attention for obvious reasons. One of the original 595s. And done really nicely with all the gauges and counters in there. The little switches. Spark OC. They're really well looked after. This is a really nicely done Alfa Romeo Gilia Quadrifoglio. Loving that paint. I think it's a wrap. These things are rapid, they've got the um, Ferrari engine in them. They used these, this car in the um, Underground 6 movie. So this little stand here is where the Abarth Owners Club was last year and now it's the Galetta Enthusiasts. I do really like these cars. They're very similar to the Abarth Pintos. We did do a little shout out for this one as well. This is the Project QV Killer. Let's check him out on Instagram. So he's got the bonnet strap with cams. Obviously it's the multi-air engine, the same as what's in the above Pinto Evo, the same as mine. It wouldn't be Festival Italia without a few Lamborghinis.
But obviously we can't forget about the motorbikes. This is a uh, older Ducati. I used to have a bike that was very similar to this. It was a Suzuki GSX-R, but it was a similar old box shape. I do really like those. And we've got obviously the Taurus, these are Kojimas. I had bikes for about seven years before I actually started getting into cars. But I used to do a lot of work on them myself as well. So you've got the 996, the 998s, more Taurus. Then you've got the Ducati Monster, 1098s. These things are beasts. So these are Aprilia RS125s, they're actually two stroke, they're absolutely rapid. They come with like a like a power band, so it's almost like a similar thing to like a turbo, when you get to a certain rev range, it almost gives you like an extra, extra pressure. They're really sporty looking, they're not in the best condition, but they're still just excellent bikes. You can get, for a 125cc motorbike, you can get up to like 110 miles an hour on these things. Just so much acceleration. more of our Puntos down here as well. It's a shame we couldn't get a stand together for the Avar Punto collective officially but obviously with the whole Covid situation Steve started looking into it and then when the lockdown happened we thought the whole year was going to be written off so in the end we didn't bother doing it and then obviously MSV turned around and said we are going ahead with it but then by that point it was too late to start getting all the stands set up. But hopefully for next year we're going to have a Printo stand, so that'll be good. So this stand over here is the Viet Printo Owners Club. A few guys here that were here last year as well. And then that there with the green wheels is my mate Jack. He's actually a really good photographer, he's taken quite a lot of pictures for me in the past, he's a good friend of mine. But you'll have to check out his Instagram. JRD Automotive. There's Jack there. Say hello Jack. How are you doing? Good. So this is actually a Fiat Punto, but he's now putting a Bar 500 engine in it. And he's got a TDO4 and it's running 249 brake. But it's an absolute beast. For a Fiat Punto, it's quite a sleeper. Obviously it's got the green wheels and stuff, but when you pull up at the lights, you think you're gonna do him and he'll probably do you to be fair. Another above front right here. There's just so many more above front nose than there was last year. I mean, there was about five. But obviously, everyone has come down this year. This one's a bit different to the print nose that we're with. This is a Fiat print nose, but it's been really nicely done. It's got the wind deflectors, it's got the door pillars and carbon fibre. It's obviously quite low as well. So the maximum design front splitter looks good. Then pinstripes. It's quite clean as well actually, it's quite good condition.
that's Lance leaving now at the front in the black Punto. That's the Scorpione model. And it's one of the rarest ones that you can get. There's only nine of them left in the UK. They actually sent 10 over and then one of them got written off. All right, so we're gonna make a move now. We've stayed until about three o'clock. It's been a good day. There just wasn't as much on this year, obviously with the whole COVID situation as there was last time, but a lot of people have left already because of that. Um, normally they would do a parade lap at the end of the day. Normally about six o'clock, they'll get all the Abarths to go out separately and then the Ferraris and the, all the other ones. It's Bradley coming. But, so what we're gonna do is insert some clips from last year just so you can see what actually happens. We just go around the track a couple of times and then just to say you've been on the track kind of thing, but we did it last year and there's not really much going on now. Everything's starting to die down and people are going home. So we're just gonna call it a day. So stay tuned if you wanna see a couple of the parade laps and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.